We're live! Hi, everybody! Welcome. Find a face. What does that mean? I have a face. It's right here. I have a face, too. Oh! Hello! Hi, I'm Bridget. Welcome to our live! Hello, 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 hello! It's that... What happened to the music? I have no idea. The DJ is failing already. So hello, hello, so hello, hello. So it's playing? Yeah. Alexa, play. I don't, it's not that deep. Oh. Why is it still telling us to find a face? Find a face. I don't know. Happy Tuesday. Hello, hello. Our Instagram live thing is telling us to find a face, which is very weird. And offensive. And offensive, because we have two faces here. Hello, hello. Good. This is Cooper. Meet the Cooper Trooper. He's very tired. We just went on a walk. We went on a walk to get some Dole Whip. It was so good. And only five points. <laughs> Ivana. She almost requested to be involved. That's fine. I would have saw you with your bottle of wine. We're doing good. Hello, hello. Welcome. We have something exciting to try tonight. I think we're going to wait another 30 seconds or so to let people get on in here. They do sell Disney outside, or Dole Whip outside of Disney, which was mind-blowing to me. Um, the little creamery place right up the street here sells it. Holy cow. Holy cow. The wine is what almost made you do. Wine makes me do a lot of things that we don't want to talk about. <laughs> uh, Dole Whip is like... Um, a light sorbet. Yeah, it's dairy free, like fat gluten free, gluten free, gluten free, kosher. But not free of fun or deliciousness. Yeah, and five good. points for a half a cup. Yeah, it was not good. Bad. Definitely worth it. It's more of like an intense fresh fruit flavor, if that's a thing. Hello, welcome everyone. Today we are trying things from Chalk Zero. I was sent some stuff, Jake was sent some stuff. Um, we love Chalk Zero for sending us stuff. Yeah. Do you ever binge? Girl, I didn't get this figure by not binging. Um, but it, I think it's a process. Like, it's just part of the journey is you're given the tools on how to overcome these types of, um, those types of things. Have you guys ever tried Pop Zero popcorn? Have you ever heard of Pop Zero popcorn? I've heard of it. I haven't tried it. I'm not a big popcorn fan. I don't like it getting stuck in time inside my teeth. Exactly. Uh, Dole Whip is 100 times better at Animal Kingdom with rum in it. Agreed. With a rum Retweet. in it? With rum in it. Yes, sir. Maybe some pineapple Dole Whip with coconut rum. Is that what we're talking about here? Because I can be here for that. Buy Jake a cutting board. They saw you crinkle cutting your cukes. On a paper plate, and they're in. They're. I was cutting chicken on the cutting board. And we're gonna we, start a GoFundMe. I have a cutting board, people. I just don't want to wash it after the chicken. And we were only doing a little bit of cucumbers. So. Paper plate club, team paper plate. Is that what it's called? Hashtag, 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 hashtag. Can we get some like upbeat music in the background? Yeah. We're about to offend every copyright out there. How's everyone doing tonight? How was your night? Is the weather nice? The weather was gorgeous here tonight. A little windy. A little windy, but worth it. We went on a little stroll. Get some happy music going. It doesn't like me. Technology is weird. It makes for an easy cleanup, cutting on a cut on a paper plate. Oh, thank you. Billy Eyelash is what I call this person. Love her. Um, so we were sent things from Chalk Zero. I guess I'll show the things that I was sent, and then Jake will show the things he was sent. I think we're going to show it as we try it. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six things to try for you. And hopeful for them all. She, they, she loves that shirt. Thank you, Target. Sponsored by Target. You got to eat outside in Wisconsin. We almost ate outside, but it was really windy. <laughs> Sorry, she did, Lisa. You know, but she took your advice and she regretted it because she messaged me today. She About does what? not like peach bubbly. And I said, I don't like bubbly either. 
I'm sorry. You can send me the rest. <laughs> um, so I think the first thing we'll try... Do you want to try this one first? Yeah, we'll start okay. basic. Um, we're going to try the chalk zero. Oh, getting wild. The milk chocolate um, squares. No sugar added. Low carb natural. Two points. Two points. It's ethically sourced, so you can sleep well at night. It's like the size of like a, a gear Dali square. Yeah. So we're gonna split one in half. We're not trying to break the point game here. Okay. She looks respectable. She's she smells Ooh, what's the scent? she smells respectable. This is what she looks like. Or he looks like Give her like. a sniff if your phone does that. <laughs> Sniff your phones, people. Oh, she's already melting in my hand, which is a good sign. I was afraid this would be like weird and not okay. melty. Here we go. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is better than Hershey's. Better than, her yeah. This is so good. Guys. So far, two thumbs up on the milk chocolate, in my opinion. Four. It's very creamy. And two smart points for one entire square. Um, it's very creamy. And like the chocolatey flavor is... There's no aftertaste. Like I would expect something like this to claim all of these things would also have like a weird aftertaste. I was expecting an aftertaste and also like a waxy like... Yes. After feel. No waxy. No aftertaste, no after feel. It doesn't taste like one of those, uh, one of those wax lips, you know? It doesn't taste healthy. No, it does And that is what is key. Oh, okay, there... There is like a little, like, as I'm breathing, I can like taste the artificial sweeteners on my tongue a little. I can like feel, there's no sugar alcohols though, so like no shitting uncontrollably. Don't worry guys, but. What you're tasting is the monk fruit extract. And I do love monk fruit. Or are you tasting the Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans? No, but I do love both of them. I'm gonna things. go for, uh, there, I think it's the monk fruit sweetener that's is what sweetens it. Uh, but I don't, I don't really taste any type of aftertaste. It's not like super bad. I just wanted to throw that out there. He's just in getting the into the barefoot contestant mode. Um, oh, my my, yeah, your clallet. My clallet. He's in a cleanses clallet. Might be better with where. <laughs> well, we've finished the quick. bottle already, so it's true. It <laughs> happened. Um, let's move on to one of yours. One no, one we'll, we'll, we'll move through it. Through okay. the chocolates. Okay. I feel like this is a natural progression. Okay, okay. naturally progress. Um, now we're going to try the dark chocolate. Same same gig, ethically sore, sleep well at night. Uh, but this one's dark chocolate. I'm scared. I'm Why? not a big fan of dark chocolate. Well, Don't buckle up, there. buddy. Because we got a square coming at you. She's very dark, very good looking. <laughs> Don't know how to crack things. All right, toss her in. Very dark. Not as dark as I was anticipating. Not as flavorful as the milk. Oh, it's a little disappointing coming from the milk chocolate, in my opinion. I prefer it. Prefer the dark chocolate over the milk chocolate. Well, maybe you can leave the milk for me. <laughs> um, what I think would be good is... Salt. Ooh, a little salt. I was going to say cutting them, like chopping them up and putting them in a cookie situation. But like you can also use little leaves for that. But these are really good. I would definitely purchase these. I would definitely purchase the milk. Yeah. But I'm not a dark chocolate fan. Fair. So moving, we have some syrups to try, but I think we'll continue with the chocolates. Yeah. We just had dark, so they sent. Um, the points are the same, right? For those two? Yeah, they're both two points. Both are two points. I actually don't scan. I can't? I can scan. Get my handy dandy scanner out. Scanner. Also two? Two, one person said one. But we'll go with Let's two. Let's check the nutrition. Karen says... Karen? Karen says two. Karen's Even wrong. M says one. Karen doesn't know how to read nutritional facts. No, Lynn. Wait. This is Lynn. It's two points. Two, two points. points. Two points. Linda doesn't know how to read. So, 
Oh, we'll stick with dark. Just not from dark. So they sent me sassy. Oh, I'm not in front. Some barks. So they're like twice the size as mm -hmm. as the little squares, except these half. Let me see. So this is like the little square that we tried. This is the size of the bark. It's so almost two times the size. And they they have peanuts in it. So this one is the. Why bark. did you do that, Karen? What? Oh, we're talking about the lady who doesn't know how to read nutrition oh, facts. Oh, honestly. Or man, I don't judge. Sometimes, though, we go for the lower ones sometimes. If Is there's multiple fake? people that say that. A though. fake. <laughs> so this is the Keto Bark, which is five points for this. Dark chocolate with sea salt and peanuts. Ooh, that might be good. I'm sure it will be. Ooh, she's Ooh. real peanutty. She's already broken a little bit. Look at them nuts. So this oh, I need is, to cleanse my palate. This is what she looks like. This is half of it. You can see that peanut action. Look at so that peanut action. Oh, thank you. Oh, she has like a nice Ooh, like, waffle texture. So many peanuts on there. Look at that. It's a crowd. Cheers. Cheers. You want to have a bigger piece? Mm -mm. Mm, that salt really hit me. Mmm. Worth it. I love that little salt. Really good. I'm gonna go in for the little second piece of my half. Can you guys read the ingredients? No? I don't cut that down. Um, and this one's sugar free. Not. Oh, yeah, this one's sugar free. Oh, that's what makes it keto. But we're not keto here. Um, sweetened with nature's very own monk fruit. Have you guys ever seen a monk fruit? No, but well, I put it on my berries. Can you Google a monk fruit? No wonder what it looks like. No artificial sweeteners. Zero sugar alcohols. It's really good. This is a win. A win, 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 win. How many points was the big? Five. Big? Five. And again, for reference... It's this big, and then this is the size of the smaller square that we were talking about. So this one was two points, this one was five points. This one also has... This is what um, monk fruit looks like. Everyone, this is what monk fruit looks like. It looks like a... Like, like a, a chestnut and a kiwi had a baby. I was hoping for something more tropical looking. But uh, this one has peanuts, sea salt, and dark chocolate in it. I would buy these. Oh, yeah. And then this one, same deal, same size, except it's milk chocolate and it's no sugar added. So there's one natural sugar in it and it's six points. But it's the same sea salt peanut situation? No, it's just peanut, milk chocolate. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready to get chocolate drunk. I break the bigger thing. Yes. That's a smart choice. What did they say? Like breaking the bigger one into smaller pieces. Yeah. Chelsea, kings of the internet. <laughs> okay. Monk fruit sounds like it. I agree, Lisa. What's happening there? It's super unbroken. There you go. Okay. Obviously, little pieces. Like so, this is what it looks like, very similar to the last one. Just got peanuts everywhere. Messy. Mmm. Very creamy, which is good. She tastes like a really rich Mr. Good Bar. Yes. Very mm -hmm. rich. Like, I feel like once I had one, I wouldn't necessarily want another. Mm -hmm. Like, it, satis it satisfies the craving. This might be great for your diabetic daughter. Oh, the sugar-free dark chocolate ones. I would just head to their website and look at the ingredients first. To make sure everything is kosher for you. But yeah, that would be a great alternative. It was very, I would have no idea that this had no sugar in it. The dark chocolate one. It's also, I checked their website. I think you can find some of these in store. But I know you can buy them on Amazon and their website. And it's $6.99 for these barks. 
which is a little pricey, but totally worth it. Yeah. I would. There's milk chocolate one, though. That one's really good. I would like, I want to like break it up and like put it on some light whipped topping. Ooh. With caramel drizzle, make like a proper dessert out of her. Well, you can make like a sugar free brownie. And then put. Yeah, real wild. Yeah, and then put some enlightened on it. And then crumble one of these on it. And you got your whole day of points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just put all the low point options and it equal to high point options. That's true. So I give you a. D for effort. Ah. For dessert. A D for dessert. Okay, so... Are we going to do the syrups now, or do we want to... Yeah, let's... Oh, well... In order, how would you... What would you list? How would you list them? What would you go for? In Um, order. Order of faves. Order of faves. Milk chocolate bars. And I think the... So he's going these number one. I think the right. barks, yeah. I think the barks are tied. I really like the salt of of the keto bark. Which is this one. But I love the richness and creaminess of the milk chocolate one. This one. Call me Vanna White. Wow. Well. Uh, um, the how many carbs? This one, which is the no sugar added milk chocolate peanut. This one has ten carbs. And only, but only one sugar. Yes. It has 10 carbs, 7 di- dietary fibers, and 1 sugar. And then the sugar-free chocolate, dark chocolate one, has 14 grams of carbs, 12 grams of dietary fiber, and 0 sugar, and no sugar alcohol. So, very good. So I think like when you're trying to figure out net carbs, you like subtract the dietary fiber... From the total carbs, right? I so this, I'm not keto. This is two net carbs. I'm owning it. And then where do you place this? Do you put this in glass for you? Yeah, that's enough for me, dog. Like, it's fine. I don't have anything against it. But, like, I wouldn't buy regular dark chocolate candy either, so. I feel like, for me, it's the exact opposite of you. Ooh, s'mores. That is a great idea. <gasps> Ooh, with a smash mellow. Yeah. Ooh. And a pizzazz. This is, person. out of the little squares, I prefer the dark chocolate over the milk chocolate. But I would agree with you. These these two barks, same. Getting floppy over here. These two barks are the are on the same level. Yeah. For sure. Two different. Bow show. Two different needs. Two different. Two different needs. <laughs> They also sent us some syrups. Yes. They sent... A caramel. And and a maple. And they're like super thick. Very thick. She's a thick girl. Which normally when you find a sugar-free syrup, they're like really loose and watery. Like, yeah. Basically (laughs) just maple water. Um, Ooh. Little maple water. And we're going to try them eating them with pizzelles. My fave. Everyone needs to go buy some Pizzelles. Christmas Tree Shop has some wild flavors. Oh. Oh, that's from the syrup. Whoops-a-doozle. So let's okay. start with the caramel. Let's start with the caramel. I'm very excited for the maple because I... He loves everything maple. Everything maple. If cardboard was maple flavored, he would eat it. I'd chew on it. I don't know if I'd swallow <laughs> it, but... I also just bought a mini waffle maker last Ooh. week. Yeah. Or no, like a couple weeks ago. And I'm excited to use that with that. But we're just going to try it on Pizzelles today. Yeah, they're not necessarily just for coffee, but you could definitely use them in coffee if you wanted. Sure. They're they're very thick, though. Yeah, I don't know if I would put them in coffee. I'm afraid they Get wild. Do it. Fall to the bottom. Yeah, but if it's hot coffee, you just... I don't know stir that. Stir it. Like. I guess coffee uh, is like... Coffee... This. Oh, hey, Jane. Oh, I, what? What? I'm just, just putting it. I'm just pouring a little on there. So it's one point per tablespoon. I'm just going to do a little One bag. point per tablespoon and for it to be this thick. She's like so thick, she's barely coming out. This is like Mrs. Butterworth thick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little show for you here. Oh. Give him that money shot. See? Oh, you went a little wild. You're welcome. Okay, you ready? She Ooh. smells like caramel. Yeah. 
I don't like her at first. Mm. Good. I like the uh, thickness. You can definitely tell that it's sugar free. Well, I think it's important to know also that caramel normally is just sugar. sugar. So to like recreate a sugar flavor, it's going to taste sugar free. I definitely. But it, on pancakes, I feel like would be so good. I'd rather have maple because I'm maple. Oil. I'm not really sure what I would use it for because I really like um, like the Smucker's caramel syrup, like, like the topping. But the, it's pretty good. And if you like caramel syrups on like your pancakes and waffles, yeah, I would this definitely would, go for it. This would definitely be more of either something in your hot coffee. Um, every week your jaw lines get more and more snatched. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, she is thick with five C's. Uh, yeah, you told me you had the maple one earlier. Uh, and I'm excited to try that after this one. But I think this one would be good on pancakes, waffles, brunch. Yeah, she kind of tastes coffee. like... But she, I, she definitely tastes like caramel, like, flavoring. Right. Like, like caramel coffee syrup. One net But, like, carb. super thick. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't put her on ice cream. She's definitely caramel, not caramel. She ain't rich, but she good. She is like um, a hardworking woman. She's not super rich. She's doing her best. But she's doing she's her best. She's for her family. She's getting it done. As best as she can. Agreed. But there's a lot of better options, but it's fine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, not on ice cream. I feel like that would be... Some people do. I've seen it on their Instagram. Really? Some people like it on their ice cream. Get it. Get it, girl. Or is it caramel? Caramel? Caramel. No, there's a How difference. How do you say it? Caramel, and then there's caramel. There's a this difference? This is definitely a caramel. Caramel it... is rich. Caramel is... I think I just always call it caramel. I didn't realize that we were saying caramel. I, I say caramel... If I deem it to be caramel. Jeffrey will love it. Will it though? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's good. Uh, I think it's also important to note that these are how much? $7.99. I didn't check the price of the syrups. Oh. I think the syrups are about are $7.99. So they are on the steeper end. Um, I just want a but sniff of the maple. We're going to move on to the maple to see if it is worth it. Guys. You like it? Hold on. I'll be right back. Toodles! You guys are alone with me now. <laughs> Suckers. Oh. I'm going to do a little side. Let's see. We're going to do a little side by side. Get that monk fruit. Monk little, fruit, 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 fruit. A little side by side okay. with Lil Miss Butterworth. Okay, bring Butterworth close. Look at that. Look at that. She's a loose girl. She's a... <laughs> Look at her. She, Red to filth in a public place. Like. Like maple water. She's thick like a orange. She's as thick as a orange juice from concentrate. Not good <laughs> at all. Hold on. Did you, did you show the viscosity? Ew. Just try water. And then we got. Look at that. Oh, oh, the money shot. That's like some lava lamp action. Exactly. If your maple syrup don't lava lamp, she ain't good. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if she's good. We haven't tried her yet. We do do this every week at 9 p.m. And we are thinking about uploading these to our YouTube channel. So after 24 hours, you can still watch it. Come back for us. So let's get trying this maple. I'm going to let... The Maple King do his business first. Okay. I'm going to... Are we going to... I'm going to do a little side by side because I haven't actually tried the Miss Butterworth yet. She's just been in my pantry. Jane said it's her her uh, favorite. Mrs. Butterworth? Yeah. Her favorite sugar-free option right now. Have you tried the Chalk Zero? Uh, have you? Yeah. Hurry up! She's thick and she smells so good. She does ha smell really good. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Okay. Oh, am I going to try? Yeah. I'm going to give it to the people just like I did last time. Uh-uh. Don't even try it because I need the rest of that bottle. Thick with six C's. Mm. 
No, that's what I call Sarah. Oh my dear, Jesus has risen, and he has risen in this bottle. This is some ass. Maybe, honestly, a new calling in life. Doctorate who? Ooh, mm -mm. Mrs. Butterworth. In my pre-WW life, Mrs. Butterworth was my ride or die. But like, the original. The sugar-free. No. Not no, right there. I thought she was good until no. today. Until we tried this. This tastes like Mrs. Butterworth OG. That tastes like actual maple syrup. Like what we're what we're known for. Probably not the same maple syrup that comes out of an actual maple tree, but like. I got that too. We can do an ultimate set. Ten out of ten would take this maple syrup over the Butterworth, one hundred thousand percent. So I think out of all this, this is actually my favorite product. That's my favorite product ever. I think that's a bold statement because it's twenty nineteen and things are coming out every day. Okay, I do love other things more than that, but this is amazing. Um. What is the smart point? Still one? One. One for one tablespoon. One tablespoon for one point. And if you speak grams... Ew, what an easy cop-out. I hate when, play, when things give you milliliters. Like, just give me grams! For 60 milliliters of this... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Paige, it's from Holy Cow here in Wyandotte. Um... One tablespoon or 20 grams for one smart point. Are you kidding me? A little chicken and waffle situation with this drizzled on top? Ooh, see, that's my, that's my dream with the mini waffle maker. I'm going to make some mini waffles. I got the protein pancake mix from Aldi. Ooh. We're going to do that with some Members Mark Southern Style chicken and some of this Chalk Zero. And she's going to be glorious. Yes, we can, Paige. Um, I did not bring the honey mustard to try here, but have you, you never tried it yet, right? No. Um, I did have it and I will say, I feel like with all G Hughes products, they do have a taste to them, like a very iconic sweetener taste. I want to say they're iconic. Well, iconic however you want to take that. Pungent, maybe. <laughs> um, and the honey mustard is no different. It definitely has a taste to it. But I was dipping some flatbread sandwiches into it, so it kind of helped cover it up. But, yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't spend $5 on the bottle again. The mini waffles and chicken. We will film that. Sure. Um, Are there some infighting? True, Jane. Cost-wise, this one is probably... Is definitely... More, more feasible. But if you love maple, don't don't cop out with the Mrs. B. But if you're feeling wild, but if you feel wild, and you want to use that tax return money, right here. Spend. I'll take out a home equity loan if I have to. That is damn good maple syrup. He's a little extra, and a home equity loan would be a. Just go to someone. Obviously, I'm not going to take out a loan. Go to anymore. someone and say, I need to take out this loan to get some maple syrup. Let me know how that works. No, I have that right here. I don't need to buy any more. Um, a second mortgage. He would. For sure. <laughs> what would you do? Honestly, on... she's the cheese, gross, sad cheese sandwich of... Sugar-free maple syrups. I think we need to ask, is this the... Actually, that is true, Jane. Log cabin, ratchet. Is this the Evian of the festival? Would you do anything for Chalk Zero? Maple Chalk Zero? Syrup? Who knows? I already got it, so... The answer is unknown. You said the log cabin maple syrup is the worst? Yeah, I mean, I've never had their sugar-free, just, like, in general. They're definitely, like... Is it like when you go to get alcohol and you have to reach down to get it from the bottom shelf? Is that also where Log Cabin is? Sure. We can go with that one. 
Do you not understand? No, I get it. Do you ever have you ever had to reach down for alcohol? No, because I'm not a bartender. I'm just a functional Alcoholic? person. Oh. <laughs> the new Built Bar flavor. Have you tried it yet? Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I'm not a fan of banana flavored things, so I w- wasn't a huge fan of it, and that's why I didn't post about it because I don't know. If you want to use it, code PHD two thousand nineteen ten percent off. Uh, but I'm not a huge fan of banana myself, so, but what did you feel? Some people love it. I'm also not a big fan of banana. I don't hate it. It's better than the lemon. I like lemon. It's heinous. You're heinous. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Take that back. Take that back. Take that back. Take that back. But my favorite is coconut. Mm-hmm. Um, and strawberry. And strawberry. Sometimes banana tastes like, yes. Yep. That's, yes. A hundred percent. I just don't, it just reminds me of like those banana runts candies. And I don't like those. It kind of tastes like Laffy Taffy. What? Oh, there's that too. What are your all, what are your favorite built bars or have you tried the built bar? Let's, let's debrief about built bars because I feel like I really, really like them. Coconut is where it's at. How do you like about... Do you like coconut? Oh, coconut's my ride or die. I love seeing posts of people with coconut, the coconut built bar, and some almonds in one hand. I think Jane does this. She's posted about it. And just like, almond joy it up. Ooh, I should have like a super coconutty breakfast tomorrow. I have a coconut built bar and I have some coconut Greek yogurt. There you go. A little coconut fat. I like orange too. Raspberry is good. I do like them chilled. Do, 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 do. I put it in the freezer for a few minutes and they are good to go. The mint one is very refreshing. Have you had that one? Yeah. Sometimes I microwave them. I like the salted Ooh. caramel microwaved with like a little drizzle of Smucker's caramel and sugar free caramel. Some salt. Well, now you can substitute this Arctic Zero. Probably not. Oh. The shade. The Lipton is hot. Three Musketeers. He has tried microwaving them. I'm you not just have sh- to watch out with microwaving them. Like, do it in, like, five-second intervals because, like, if you go, like, one second too too far, she turns crunchy. Like, if if anyone is, like, from Canada or England or has tried, like, a crunchy bar... It, it reminds me of that, but not nearly as good as that sponge toffee. We love a good European sponge toffee. <laughs> That's a worldly human. Ooh, a built bar between graham crackers and the microwave. Okay. The a little s'more action. Ooh, a marshmallow built bar. Marshmallow flavor? That should be a flavor. I feel like I identify most with built bars. One second too much of something, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm over it. I concur. He I, I, says she to everything. Yeah. Now I say it. What makes it different than the other bars? <laughs> Thanks for that advice, Steph. I don't know if that would actually. What you say? But, uh, microwave it in one second intervals. Oh, <laughs> quoted <laughs> Steph. Um. <laughs> What makes the Bilt Bar different? I think that it does not taste like a protein bar. <laughs> it tastes like candy. That's what makes it different. Yeah. And it's damn good. Definitely tastes like candy and it does not in any way, shape, or form remind me of any type of protein bar that's on the market. A peanut butter Bilt Bar, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's extra. Pizzelles are like one point for one, but like you can get like up to like one and three quarters for one point. Always, you know, toggle toggle the qual- quantity of stuff on your app. You can always, like, the suggested serving size, sometimes you can squeeze more out for that smart point value. True. Yeah, there's no aftertaste with Built Bars. I've never experienced an aftertaste of you. Um, I have with the lemon, and it tasted like Don't nasty, like dark, chocolatey pledge. He's got weird taste buds, but there's no, <laughs> there's no 
aftertaste, and it's definitely like a marshmallowy consistency. It's really good. Yes, it's got like actual chocolate on the outside, which is always delicious. always weigh what in grams. Everything just weigh life in grams. Everything you encounter, except okay. for yourself, I would be very discouraged. I thought she was talking about like built boat because we're talking about built boat. Well, you were talking about pizzelles and serving sizes. Yeah. So Jane always says weigh everything in grams, which I also do. So do I. When it says uh, you can have twelve chips, they probably mean twelve whole chips, but like. Whose potato chips make it from the factory to oh, the store yeah, to your no, home? No, no. There's nothing. You've, you've got to weigh grams. Other than Papa Bowls, I do count on Papa Bowls because... They also agree, lemon equals pledge. Thank you. Grams. Grams for life. And a lot of times if you weigh things, you get more than you think it's true. Count amount, so... For sure. See, Jane's already got it down. 12 chips for 30 grams, but 30 grams is 15 chips. Hashtag Boom. math. Hashtag the Lipton is hot. Did you guys Sales look at this? Did you guys look at this story? He crinkle cutted the cukes. Crinkle cut the cukes. He did it. He did it. Our cukes were crinkled cut for dinner. Yes. I always look for, if it says like a quarter cup, or for instance, Miss, Mrs. Butterworth says a quarter cup. Or 60 milliliters. I would just set my food scale to milliliters. Which kind of is weird to me. Because I feel like milliliters is volume. But I'll just do it that way. For liquids I don't usually weigh. Sometimes you gotta. If it's a tablespoon of like a liquid. You're going to get exactly a tablespoon of, of a liquid. Yeah Jane you're right. We gotta be different. The Great British Baking Show. Have you ever watched that? No. Yeah. It's so great. Top shelf gal. So? You can still enjoy baking things. I do. Team weighing in grams. Yeah, definitely weigh your avocado. Some people have a very firm stance about not tracking avocados. We track um, avocados in this house. We do track avocados. But some people are very like, no tracking avocados, no tracking olives. I just don't want to get down that path. Because I just feel like at some point I'm just going to be like, no tracking Oreos. <laughs> no tracking this. Just because that's who I am. Those people, that's what works best for them and for their journey. But for me, I would be like, no track goldfish. And then open up. Yeah, I track everything. Blended fruit. I know a lot of you don't do that. I do. There you go. It's important. You don't track ketchup. You gotta do what you gotta do. I don't track emergency. I also don't track oh, my true. melatonin pills that I take at night. Do they have sugar in them? I don't know. They taste kind of sweet. Yes, Lisa, we're both from Metro Detroit originally. I'm born and raised in Wyandotte. I'm from Debo Heights. Pronounced Dearborn Heights. <laughs> Not going ham on ketchup? Fair. See, when I go, when I have ketchup, I usually go ham on it, so I definitely track. He track. is a WW rule follower for sure. Weighs everything, tracks every bite, every lick, every anything. He is. When you got an goals, you can't track. You can't. When you have goals, you can't cut corners. There you go. You heard it from him. Lisa's from Clinton Township. Hello, neighbor. Any update on Harris Gate 2019? No, but I went to a different great clip and got a great haircut. Uh, there is no update. They never responded to me, so... Here I am. My hair it didn't really turn out bad. It was just a wild experience. <laughs> so cynical, Jane. Give him <laughs> Whatever. He will turn. No, I can get liberal with it. I just like to things he you know he's still he's in that like honeymoon phase with ww just kidding don't ever outgrow this phase i've been on ww for like three years now and my you know when you go to your journey tab and you have the chart of your weight mm -hmm. mine does something like the tallest roller coaster in the world so 
How did we meet? Tinder. Like the Kesha song. No. That's We're Tinder. yelling Tinder. I do love Kesha though. We Same. In Andy's Mountains. And Andy's Mint. No, that sounds good. That's one point. Oh. Thank you for following our journey. I feel like if I wasn't honest on my Instagram, I would be lying to myself. And that's what stops me from sabotaging myself is when I post things or go on my stories, things like that. It helps to keep me honest and accountable. Yeah. No, it's definitely hard to track sometimes. Like this weekend, we we went wild. Yeah. Some of us. Me. I still tracked everything. I know he did Which is fine. That's your journey. When it comes to me and WW, I'm, it's like used denim. Like, it's broken in. We know We know what we're doing here. I tracked everything on Saturday, though, and it was like 175 points. It was a rough day. But when you tracked it... And I moved on. And we moved on. In the past, like I said in today's story or yesterday's story, um, I would have spiraled out of control and got really wild. Oh, I love pre-tracking. Sometimes I pre-track for days. Like, I'm pre-tracked. I don't pre-track my breakfast. I don't know. I have breakfast tomorrow, but I pre-track my lunch. I cannot. I am not a good pre-tracker because my meals are all over the place. Um, someone asked what pro- Lisa it was. I asked what products you use in your hair. I use Dirty Styling Cream from Lush. Um... Yeah, that's about it. That's the only product. Do so you use, use it? hairspray. Today it's just a little hair. I hair I I spray my hand and then do a little brush to get get the flyaways. Do you put it on when your hair is wet? I do. You... It says to do it when it's dry. I towel dry it so she's damp. I put her in and she's good for forty eight Every... hours. Everything is a she or a her. The future is female people. It is. It is. Um, Ooh, that is... I wish I was that's on goals. Melody's level. That is goals. I can't even pre-do my menu for a week. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get better about that. But yeah. working in um, by Lush, yeah. It's like an all-natural product line. Yeah, um, there's... They're in, like, malls across all over. Yeah, I think they're here in Michigan. They are. Uh, I know, I think Oaks. it's 12 Oaks, Partridge Creek, um, Somerset. Yeah, I definitely have found more success in tracking, even when I make poor decisions, um, and I know I'm going to go over my points, I do find that when I do buckle down and track those very high point days, because nothing's going to happen, like, a hand's not going to reach out of my phone and slap me for doing it. Oh, for slap you. I... And I would welcome that. I would overeat my points every single day if Oprah was going to pop out of the phone. Well, she's Do it for the girl. Phone. Do it for the Oprah. Lush is online too. Yeah. Absolutely. But it definitely helps me. I make smarter choices when I'm tracking it. I have never been to Partridge Creek. You're fine. We gotta go sometime. True. You get that reward. Have you ever cashed in your wellness wins? Not yet. And sometimes... Sometimes I... Good night. Sorry your phone is dying. Oh, good night. Sometimes I'm, I fudge it a little bit so I get more wellness wins. This is a confession. But, like, sometimes we go to brunch. Yes, Chelsea, it can be my gal. lunch. So I... I split up the meal between the two, or I'll just track, like, water in a meal, so I get those five points for that meal. I get... All your wins. I get all my wins every week. There hasn't been a single week I haven't got 165, the maximum. (laughs) Playing games over here. What are we doing for the moment and for, like, exercise? I'm just... I... Was doing that, like, intense workout class at the gym, but I feel like, well, I know, the tendonitis in my hip started flaring up, so I had to stop doing that, and because I'm on my feet all day, so now I just go for walks, kind of a light exercise. I go for walks, and I also go to the Y. I haven't been in 
like uh, two weeks, but usually run the treadmill or walk the track and then go swimming. Yeah. Yeah, Jane, I noticed that the Headspace three months trial went away. I know there are, aren't there some Headspace things that you can do in the, in the app itself, like in the WW app? Lots of water. I need to work on my... I went to the grocery store. You saw me post my, my grocery haul. I uh, no, no, she's, bought water. She, she tracks water for meals, too, is what she's talking about. She's not oh. actually talking about her water intake. I was talking about water intake. You track water? We we track water to get the wellness one for that meal. I she's hear. a fellow scammer. I heard. Cheers. Heard. Are you going to track that water? No, I already have three meals today. Hashtag Jake wins. Oh, it broke within two months. Womp womp. Oh, thank you. We love you following us, but not in real life. That's weird. Mm, that's fine. You do what you got to do, honestly. For the, all the sleep modules, you just got to pop some melatonin, girl. Stop pushing sleep aids. <laughs> Stop on pushing our pills. <laughs> Pill pusher. Addict. I'm not an addict. Sometimes you just need a little little melatonin hug to go to sleep. <laughs> a drug hug? <laughs> a drug hug. Um, but yeah, if you are just joining us, you just... Oh, makes you jittery. Um, calms me right down. We tried... Take some CBD oil. <laughs> CB- I heard they, were, they sell it. Um, if you're from Metro Detroit and you know what family video is, it's like our local version of Blockbuster that made no, it. They're, they're like, mm, I think they're Are nationwide. they national? Yeah. Uh-huh. They all carry them nationwide now. They're like, uh, the Blockbuster, but made it and mm-hmm. they sell CBD products, which is wild to me. You can go rent your DVD. Do they rent DVDs? Like, what are they renting? Who knows? They're renting things. And, but Nick wouldn't know because he doesn't have a DVD player. I it's don't. Because, because it's 2019. It's 2019. And I can stream it from someplace. I can stream it someplace. Um, but we tried Chalk Zero. We tried the two different types of bark. They have the sugar-free dark chocolate with sea salt. Five points. Wait, this one's five points? The keto, yeah, this one's five. This one is five points. This one is six points. Right? Yep. The milk chocolate with peanuts is six points. Then we had the little bars of dark chocolate and the little bars of milk chocolate. Those are two points. And then... We have the maple and the caramel and the, syrups. They're super thick. We endorse maple. Oh, wow. Endorse, 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 endorse. But you can see how they're like... She thick. Really thick. But we really like the maple syrup. The bark, bark is amazing. We love them both equally because one is creamy and rich. That's the milk. And the dark is salty. And I love it. So she, Jane wants us to recap on the bark. You just did that. I just did that. He just did that. Um, yeah, I would say the same thing. I like the dark one because it was salty and cream, not as creamy. Yeah. But like had the chocolate bite to it. So I would, I prefer the dark chocolate with sea salt and peanuts, which is sugar free. And then the milk chocolate, no sugar added one was super creamy. They also have a bunch of different barks with like almonds and stuff. I Ooh. definitely want to get some of the other barks. Yes. So we'll have to check out the different barks yeah. and give those a try too. But overall, very impressed. Very delicious. Yeah. Would, I would probably purchase the barks before I would purchase the regular chocolate squares. But I would buy them too. And if you're feeling bougie... Get the maple syrup. Oh, Stevie, our biggest fan. Let's be in our video. Maybe one day. One day? One day. You're welcome whenever you want. Come on over. Um, but yeah, so we're probably going to upload these up to our YouTube channel. So you can watch these after. And we thought about doing like an after show. What were we going to call it? <laughs> the aftertaste. <laughs> with Jake and Nick. I don't know what we would talk about because we who knows? We talk about our aftertaste, but... What? <laughs> aftertaste. <laughs> yes, Paige, you both can come. Come on, Opa. Come on, Opa. The aftertaste. 
I feel like that's an Andy Cohen type show. <gasps> like, what was, what would you do live? No, that's not it. Yeah. The, well, no, uh, watch what happens live. Watch what happens live. Live in the clubhouse and the taste live from the tasting room. The aftertaste. <laughs> live from the tasting room. <laughs> These are all things untucked. That, untucked. <laughs> These are all things that we could do in our future, but I loved when every show on TV had an after show. I love that the dinner mint. That's also a good one. That yes. would be the name of our accompanying restaurant. The <laughs> um, I love all the reunions, all the Bravo reunions. Yeah, I watch them on repeat. You do. I started watching the um, Bravo reunion of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, and that one is fire. Goals. I love when they're yelling at each other, being petty and catty. Just makes me want to sit on that couch too. Sounds like us. All the time, and we're sitting on the couch. So, you're petty. Oh, and you yell at me. Rude. Does anyone have any questions? What we got going on here? Steph and Paige can host the aftertaste. Yes. Where they recap. There we go. You guys gonna have to go live and do that. <laughs> Jane, you can do a recap too. Called the dinner mint. You can, the dinner break could be a podcast. There we go. Yes, every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Standard Eastern Time, if that's what we're on, or like Eastern Standard Um, Time. But next week, just a little preview, we'll be tasting Smart Smart Cakes. cakes. I have never tried them. Neither have I. But Carrie. People swear by them. Fit Fashion Foodie, Carrie. Um, love her. Talks, talks about them and loves them. So I'm excited to give them a try. Has anyone no trap? <laughs> Shook. The Lipton is hot. Grab your tea cups because I'm Jane's over here pouring it. She's pouring it. See, that's why I was okay. Never mind. I Jane is pouring the tea, and we are here for it. Anyone tried Smart Cakes? What are your favorite flavors? Uh, we have lemon, cinnamon, and chocolate to try. I purchased them from Nettrition, which if you haven't logged on to Nettrition, I highly recommend it. Um, oh, Lisa wanted to know what I made you for dinner that you hated so much. I oh, made... Yes, let's get to the dinner story. Carbonara with... Carbon carbonata. what? Carbonara? Carbonara? Carbonara. I'm not Italian. Um, it was delicious to me. Nick did not like it. I made it specifically for him because it's his favorite. And he just ate the chicken, so... Well, okay. Way does it make me sound like a jerk, so let's roll it on back. No, he's not a jerk. He didn't uh, like it. He thought it was too eggy. It's fine. He can make it next time. Uh, <laughs> rude. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pasta in general, but I love carbonara. It's just creamy, delicious, absurdly good. Some. Oh, we're talking about smart cakes. This one tastes like Starbucks coffee cake. Some whipped cream on it. Oh, we'll have to make some coffee next week. Ooh, yes. We can have a little coffee, coffee maybe action. Some, maybe spike it. Put a little Bailey's. Ooh, that's all you. I don't like Bailey's. I do. It's all the point. Um, but yes, carbonara is my favorite pasta dish if I'm gonna have pasta, and. Love him for making that dish for me, but it was too eggy for me. Too much egg was involved. I followed the recipe. And maybe that recipe is just not a good one. We can find a new one. We can give it another try. Okay. I like it to be more cheese, more creamy than eggy. I just feel like when we went out and had it the other week, the other day, the other whatever, it was like the sauce was like more white. Yeah, that sauce was heinously pointy, though, but... You gotta do it. Gotta do it. I'll I'll eat zero points all day. We'll, go, we'll just go to Otavia. There we go. There's a really good Italian restaurant in Corktown, Detroit, called Otavia. I had carbonara there once, and it has changed my life, and I have never forgotten it. I need to go back. 
Ooh, smart cakes in your yogurt. Okay. Interesting. Favorite WW recipes. I don't really cook that much besides like basics. Basic things. Because I'm a basic oh, person. Oh, rude! But what are your favorite WW recipes that you've made so far? Um, I love D Ward's biscuits. Um, Ooh, those were good. He brought me over one to try. We need to make those again. We do. And then Busy Kitchen. Ooh. Cannot live without. The pizza? Her pizza. That was really good too. So Busy's pizza. I really like my Aloha chicken. Which is really good. You can, uh... A little ego boosting. Hey. A little self-love. A little self-love. Ain't no problem in that. But yeah. Zero all day, carbonara all night. Woo-woo! Who doesn't like Ed's biscuits? (laughs) No one. Um, Everyone does. Oh, there's also a really good one point instant pot chicken taco soup. Yes. That's delish. Ooh, someone tried your Aloha. Nicole tried your Aloha chicken. Husband approved. Very good. I love it. Biz is the WWE queen. Egg roll in a bowl is the good. queen. Egg roll in a bowl is really good. Have you ever tried that? No. You have to make it for me. I've made it once before. It was very delicious. Oh, I also really liked that roasted cauliflower kale salad Yeah, that we made. I'm actually going to be posting that recipe this week, I think. It was very delicious. What's a really good pizza place on Jefferson and Wyandotte? Wyandotte test! Is he really from Wyandotte? Well, in Wyandotte, Jefferson's called Biddle. I think you might be... Okay. I think you might be referring to Frank's. I've never had it. Um, what is your favorite pizza place in Wyandotte? Oh, JJ's. 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 I couldn't even finish this sentence. No, JJ's. JJ's is the best. I won't even finish my sentence. But if you make a random trip to Wyandotte, JJ's Pizza. Not point friendly, necessarily, but on WW, anything can be fit, fit in. Yeah. And it's kind of quirky because the owner's a tight ass and he buys, like, misprinted boxes from other pizzerias. Like, like the printer like Frank's. messes them up. I cut them. We're but... back. We're back. Frank's. Oh, see, I've never been there. How do I try? I heard this? they. You plug it in. I heard they treat their <laughs> their employees badly, so I never don't Is, know her. Can I can just plug it in like this. Yeah. My phone's got a little battery. We're gonna, we're trying to save the day here. Uh, How can I tell if we're live? Oh, play the final countdown. We only have a minute and 50 cents. 50, 50 cents. cents. We only have a minute and 50 cents left. We're going to play the final countdown. Any last minute questions? We tried chalk zero. The barks are good. The squares are good. The syrups are great. But we love the maple. We love the maple syrup. But it is time for the final countdown. Um, she's she's being mean. Here we go. Mm. I'll leave it. Singing isn't my day job, so. Uh, what are your final thoughts? Final thoughts. Mrs. Butterworth Co. That's a thought. Chalk Zero Maple. Fabo. There we go. The barks, delicious. Good. The squares, fabulous. And what is your, what is one word for this past weekend WW? How would you substitute, like, sum it up? And you have like 10 seconds because I need at least A minutes. journey. A journey. All right. Overall, barks, my favorite. Out of the candy options, maple, we're here for her. Um... My one word for this last week on WW, indulgent. It has been indulgent. But yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Next week, check our YouTube channel. We might upload this. Next week is Smart Cakes. And goodbye from us. Goodbye from us. And Koopa. And Koopa. Goodbye. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us.